Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to compute conditional expectations of stock prices that follow a binomial tree distribution. So let's consider a stock price SN which follows a binomial tree. What that means is it means that at time S0, I can either go up with probability P to S0 1 plus U, or I can go down with probability 1 minus P to S0 1 plus D. And these prices are versions of the stock price at time 1. Then at time 2, I can go to S0 1 plus u squared, S0 1 plus u 1 plus d, or from the bottom I can go up with probability p, down with probability 1 minus p, and if I go up with probability p, if I went down and then up again, I'll go back to the same value as if I went up and then down. And I can also go to S0 1 plus d squared. So those are my values of the stock price at time 2. So there's three possible values of the stock price at time 2 if I follow binomial tree. Now we want to ask the question, what is the conditional expectation of S2 given S1? So what we do is we recall, to compute conditional expectations, we recall that the conditional expectation of a random variable given an event, A, so this is an event, will be the expectation of X on the set A over the probability that A happens. And to compute the conditional expectation of a random variable given another random variable, we will have that the conditional expectation of S2 given S1 will be the conditional, it will be two values, it will be the conditional expectation of S2 given that S1 is S0 1 plus U, or it will be the conditional expectation of S2 given the event S1 equals S0 1 plus D. It will be this first conditional expectation on the event on the event when S1 is equal to S0, 1 plus U. And this will be on the event S1 equals S0, 1 plus D. So this conditional expectation will be a random variable with the following two values. It, with the value of this conditional expectation on this event and this conditional expectation on this event. So now we can compute it. So now we say what is the conditional expectation of S2 given that S1 was equal to S0, 1 plus U. Well, it will be the expected value of S2 on the set where S1 was equal to S0, 1 plus U divided by the probability that S0 was equal to 1 plus U was the value of S1. We know the probability that S1 is S0, 1 plus U is the up probability, so this denominator will be equal to P, so everything will be divided by 1 over P. And now I have to figure out the expected value of S2. Well, there are going to be two possible values of S2. The first possible value would be S0, 1 plus u squared. That's the following value. That's this value right here. And this value of S0, 1 plus u squared occurs with probability p and p, so this will be times p squared, plus the other value can be is S0, 1 plus u, 1 plus d. And this occurs with probability p and 1 minus p. So this will be multiplied 
by p and 1 minus p. And we see that each of these terms is a factor of p, so we can simplify this, and this will be a s0, 1 plus u squared p, plus s0, 1 plus u, 1 plus d, and then a 1 minus p. Now, I can factor out an S0, 1 plus U, so this would be S0, 1 plus U. And what's left over will be a P, 1 plus U, and a plus 1 minus P times 1 plus D. So we see that this is exactly equal to S0, 1 plus U is the value of S1. So this will be equal to S1 times P, 1 plus U, plus 1 minus P, 1 plus D. The conditional expectation achieves this value on this set. We can perform a similar calculation to find out what the conditional expectation is given on the set when S0 is 1 plus D. The exact same calculation will be true. We will start here, and then I will go down this branch instead of the other branch, and now a 1 minus P will be common to both, and I will cancel out, and we'll see with the same representation. So what we see from this is we see that this expression over here, so now we can note that the expected value of k1, the one step rate of return, will be p times u plus 1 minus p times d. And what we have in this expression over here is exactly s1, and then I will have a p plus pu plus 1 minus p plus 1 minus p d, and we see that this p and 1 minus p will exactly turn into 1. So what this will be is this will be s1 times 1 plus the expected value of k1. And performing a similar calculation on the other side, we can compute the conditional expectation of this random variable given S1. So we see that the conditional expectation of S2 given S1 will be will be S1 times 1 plus the expected value of K1. Thank you very much.